Hey! How are we all doing? Hope you're doing okay. Hogwarts Legacy! Uh, today. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing for. Maybe just an hour. Um, but yeah. Hogwarts Legacy today. This morning. Bit of a change. Um, but that's really loud. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, let's see. Gabrielle Claywater. Woo. Oh. Oh. Right. Let's play. I have no idea where we're up to on this, so I'm really gonna have to concentrate and figure out where we're up to. Um. Got a lot of catching up to do because I've not played it in a long time. Got to get used to the controllers again. So. God help me. Um. How are we all doing? I know I'm not doing sim because it's a bit strange. I think it's because I've not I've not done Hogwarts Legacy because I've since the move back upstairs into the office in the back bedroom, um, I've not had chance to sort out the connections to get my um capture card working again. Um because I realised soon after deciding that I wanted to come upstairs again that um that game's really loud. Can I lower that down? How the hell do I lower it down? No, that's not it. How would you lower it down? Is it through that? No. There must be an option. Oh no, not that. Oh, I might have fucked some up. I fucked up. Sorry. Um, I don't know. Is it that? Oh, um, I'm trying to figure out where. I don't know how to lower it down. Is it through my PC? That's a bit better, I think. There we are. Okay. So, how... How do you get to your... Ah, here we go. <laughs> um, quests, isn't it? Um, so we've got Hunt for the Missing Pages. Let's go find Nearly Headless Nick then.
Enter. So. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? No, I don't. I don't want to speak. You there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Revelio. I beg your pardon? Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ah. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghost cannot carry it. If you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Revelio. Ah, here we are. Head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. <laughs> oh, okay. <gasps> wow! A student never will in the kitchen. Students. What can they want? Delicious food and what found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know how makes rookies job easier. Can get. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Mmm, it smells glorious in here. Here's a welcome drink. Mmm, here's some beef. But it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. There's a disgusting smell. Oh, I must be getting close. I think I'm having a little nosy about just to see. Oh, a student? What a treat! Oh. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no! Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, Students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help. And to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. You're back. No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is! 
in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. <laughs> what am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this Headless Hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. You stay behind him. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Okay. Fine night for revelry. I'd say he's in over his head. Hmm, a map. It 
doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... <laughs> Oh, why not? Sorry. You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him! Where can I find Jackdaw's head? You'll have to play our game. Find him amongst the pumpkins five times and he's all Press the wrong yours. button. Sorry, guys. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. It won't be long now. You'll find him. Discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Oh, what fun! A student is playing! So then I would be the one to clean up this mess. Then I would be the one to clean up this mess. Well, good job on some pipes. But we're not free with you. A mortal would be so good at this. You've almost got him. Why did I come back here? Oh, what fun! A student is playing. Say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? 
You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas says you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Someone in the cave cut off your head. I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge.
in. Come on in. Don't be shy. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. We have everything a young student might need. Oceans, have a good look around. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Sorry, I was just trying to find out I'm if... I'm going um... to have to use Akio to get to those books. Akio! Got it. I need four more to go. be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Any luck finding my diary and the rest of my books? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. So that's twenty uh, thirteen ten. No, ten. Eight. Um Spider. So I need three. So I need the three headed oh, monster thing. Come on.
Oh, 11%. Quests. Oh, it's this one here. Okay, so what time is it now? It's half eleven. Ooh, okay. Um quests. Sorry. Oh, um Inventory, isn't it? It's in there. Let's see. So that is the Forbidden Forest there. So there's a bridge here. 
let's travel there. I'm going to travel there and see what's there. Because it's clearly in the Forbidden Forest, isn't it? It's It's got to be. So we're going to go here and see if we can figure out where this map relates to. Adventure, are we? Right. So, Rebellion. Um, let's go back and look at the map again and figure it out. Okay. View. So yeah, so that's the bridge, and that cross the bridge into the forbidden forest isn't it basically i would say Revelia. No, it was saying to go through into the Forbidden Forest and you see floating candles. So let's go in and find the floating candles. Chat of stores rest, that's not what I want. I don't want chat doors rest. I want floating candles, that's what I want. What do scribs even do with their lives? How do you survive without water? I'm a bit confused. Oh. Let me have a look at it again. It might just be that it's not showing up yet. I don't know. Let's have a look. Hidden map.
So do I do Revelio here? Revelio. 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 lived here i wonder Oh, I hate this music. Here I am, as good as my word. No, I'm not doing that. Not doing it, not doing it. Oh, Rebellion. Well. It's been ages since I've found anything worth
Ravenia. I hope people shudders when they see me. Likely we'll need more wood if we're to not freeze. Seems harshness has her mind set to follow us. And be sure to stoke the flames with an easy hand. I think it was all last time you took the thing out.
<laughs> the Auras get to have all the fun. Or rather, they ruin our fun. Beautiful. Hakuho is a beautiful place. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Do we need to get another spider? Oh no. It was that one, wasn't it? Oh, awful. Horrible, horrible spiders. Oh, there was another one in there. Oh. Leech juice. So now there's nothing going on there, is there? Which is frustrating. Um, what's that? get going um, so if we go to settings save game
So I've saved that game. Um, and um, yes, so I'm gonna head off now. Um, no, nothing really amazing happened, but I found got, got used to things again. Um, so hopefully I'll now I've got myself set up. I will hopefully play this game a little bit more. Um, if you've got any questions, queries, please contact me, ask me, um, leave messages. Um, and I hope to see you again real, real soon. Love ya.